Cravat. It's not a cravat, ma'am. It, it, it's a pre-tie bow tie that you don't have to tie. It's magic, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm in charge of calling the bingo tonight and, and introducing the turns at the club. Hey, you haven't booked a load of strippers again, have you, Selwyn? I, I, I didn't book strippers before. It's a mistake. I thought they were jugglers. <laughs> no, I've only done it once. It's a fantastic concert. The big band sounds coming to Scarsdale. Like Black Dyke Mills, poet and peasant. No, 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 like like Glenn Miller and Moonlight Serenade, Chattanooga Choo Choo. <laughs> Who've you got coming? Well, only the latest and greatest in the big band world. What, Joe Ross? Jack Parnell? No, not quite, Morris. You don't mean Sid Lawrence. You're getting warm. Edward Heath, now he had a band. <laughs> That's Teddy, now, ma'am. Oh. The fellow you're thinking about only plays the organ. <laughs> like, come on, come on. Now, now, who have you got booked? Sid Arkwright. <laughs> Sid Arkwright? I've never heard of him. He's, he's, he's never heard of Sid Arkwright? Never. But he's, 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 he's a veritable legend in the world of big, big band music. I can't help that. I've never, I've never heard of him. I mean, who says he's a legend? A veritable one. <laughs> he, he, no, his agent said so when he phoned me up. Honestly, he's coming all the way from Pontefract. It <laughs> must be good we're, pay we're paying him. Who's your big fee? You mean they get paid, those turns in your club? Of course they get paid, ma'am. People should get proper jobs. No wonder the country's in a mess. <laughs> Look, how much are you paying this legendary Sid Arkwright? Complete travelling expenses plus ten pounds. <laughs> I blame the common market. What, ten pounds each? I'll give over, Morris. Ten pounds between them. <laughs> Well, for the greatest big band in the world? Yeah, it's all right. Finish it with £2.50 each. Clear. What do you mean there's only four fellas in this big band? Yeah, well, I mean, so, some of them play more than one instrument. <laughs> no, you, you couldn't get more than four on our stage. It didn't half small. I want to have it extended, but I keep getting outvoted by the committee. It, it, it'd, it'd be real good if we had a bigger stage. I could, I could book real extravaganzas. You know, I, I want to book that, that Rudolph Neri of him to have a good dancer. But you see, you, you couldn't tell him on our stage. He moves about too much. <laughs> he must be out of his mind, Rudolf Nureyev. Is he the one with the red nose? <laughs> <laughs> La ladies and gentlemen, if we could just uh, lady, a bit of order, please. Just while I check this house. Just, just a little. Just a bit of um, that house is correct, and we could have your tickets, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. No, look, oops, I dropped my pencil. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, there you are. Take that to the secretary at the end of the evening, and he'll get you up and get your money. All right, thank you very much. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that concludes our final house of bingo. And, um, as you know, I usually introduce the turn at this time. No, you don't. We're half an hour late. 35 minutes. Yes, I'm um, a little bit late, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, and you're probably saying to yourself, what's happened to Sid Arkwright and his famous orchestra? Yes, what has happened to Sid Arkwright and his famous orchestra? Yeah, well, I, I'm just about to, to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, there's a very good and reasonable explanation why, why Sid Arkwright uh, isn't here. Yes, he hasn't turned up. <laughs> Uh, no, could you just have a bit of the call? No, uh, no, there's a good reason why why Sid and his boys haven't turned up, but unfortunately, at the moment, I don't, I don't know what, quite what it is. Um, so, 
Well, it's all very well. Listen, it's all very well, but the members have paid 5p cover charge yeah, 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 yeah. and they've a right to get the money's worth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, if I could, just a minute, um, just in case you're a bit worried about not getting your cover charge of 5p's worth, um, I can assure you you're not going to be disappointed because um, I'm your concert secretary, it is my responsibility. So I think what we'll do to pass a bit of the time away is we'll, we'll have another five hours of bingo. Oh, no, no. We've had 17 houses of bingo already. <laughs> right, well, um, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably not a very good reason because you've already had 17 houses already. I've just been reminded. So I tell you what, don't worry, I'm your concert secretary. I will, I will, no, the, I will step into the breach, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, we'll have a bit of a sing song. And I'll start it off myself by singing a song you've heard me sing many times before, made famous by the great Elvis Presley. Thank you, first one for the money. <laughs> Six times in the last three months, the top of the bell cabaret hasn't turned up. And each time we've been given the choice of another five houses of bingo, or you singing blue suede shoes. <laughs> it's not my fault. You're the concert secretary. Yeah, I know that, but it's the only song I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what we mean, Froggett. Your efficiency as a concert secretary is diabolical. Diabolical? What part of Wales does he come from? <laughs> Watch your flippancies. I don't know what they are. Look, I'm, 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 I've done everything to get turns. Honestly, I, I, I go out all over the... I mean, look at Sid Arkwright. I mean, he comes all the way from Pontefract. But they never arrive. <laughs> look, so, some of the turns are right. I mean, I mean, look, look at them strippers. Oh, I thought the jugglers, they turned up and they went to bomb. <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah. That, that, that fire eater I booked, he turned up. Aye, and he scorched the ceiling. <laughs> he had complaints about the beer being warm. Well, I, I got the same complaints, didn't I? I passed them on to his agent, honestly, and he said he's, he's, got, he's going to deal with them as, as soon as he's sorted out his big claim. What big claim? It involves the row of houses where he lives. He <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was rehear rehearsing, apparently, in his front room, and he sneezed. <laughs> Actually, he, he did ask me, he said he's got nowhere to rehearse now. He, he asked me if I'd ask you if he could rehearse in the club. You must be joking. I, I told him not to be too optimistic. <laughs> but what about my complaint, Froggett? Which one are you talking about, Tom? <laughs> the one about the top of the bill turns that don't turn up. Well, I've, I've, made, I've made exhaustive inquiries into all that and I, I, th I think I've solved the problem. What is the problem, Selwyn? They, they don't know where it is. <laughs> You give them the address, don't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I confirm it in typing. But, but when they come, they still can't find it. They, they, they walk about a bit and they go all over. Some of them go to the Liberal Club, some go to the Methodist Mission. We've had some in the carpool and, and they, they just look around for a while and then they go over. <laughs> Everybody knows where the club is. I know where it is. So do I. Who knows where the club is? Show of hands. <laughs> carried unanimously. <laughs> Well, I, I know where it is. That's why I had me up. But it, it's not us, is it? It's not us. It's them. They're, they're, they're the problem. You see, it, it's, it's not written up anywhere. What's he talking about? What's not written up anywhere? Scarsdale Working Men's Club and Institute. It's on my membership card. <laughs> I know that. It's on my membership, but, but, it, but it's not on the club. Isn't it? Used to be. It's at the front, high up on the wall. Yeah, I know. Well, it, it come down in a gale, and, and, and Ray took it round the back. He was going to stick it up. But, you know, it, it, it got nicked one bonfire night. Now let's get this straight. You were saying that these uh, these artists, well, these comedians and band leaders, can't find the club because the name is not written on it. Apparently, Sid, Sid Arkwright, they, they thought, and his band, they, they thought it were a derelict church. <laughs> Some of the turns you're booking is beginning to look like one. So, what do you suggest? Well, in my opinion, you know, in my view, what we should do is, seeing this tank got a sign, is we should stick one up again in dirty big letters. I'd like to officially propose that proposal. <laughs> we could be sitting here all night, the chippy will be shut. 
all in favour of giving him what he wants, show of hands, unanimously. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Who's going to paint it? Well, well, I thought... Well, uh, might I interject? No, you'll have to wait until playtime. <laughs> Shut up, Selwyn. It so happens that I have a good friend, namely my brother, who's a sign writer. I'm sure he'll make a good job at very competitive terms. I know somebody who'll do it even cheaper. Oh, no, he won't. My brother is... If a... I might interject. You might not interject. We've had too many interjections already. <laughs> Harry's had one more, can't I? I just wanted to interject to say that I know somebody who'll do it for nothing. Can your brother do it better than that? <laughs> well, I have to speak to him, won't I? <laughs> well, I propose we give the tender to Selwyn's friend. Those in favour? <laughs> All those against? You can't vote. You've got a declared interest. We won't get it done cheaper than that. <laughs> Unanimous. Tell your friend he's got the job. Thank you very much. Act, act, act. It's not my friend. Well, who is it then? <laughs> so the frog, it's on the go. Never mind, never mind. Just like Michelangelo. Never mind, oh, never mind. He is never one to lurk round the corner or to shirk. Magic. Froggett, stop this at once. You, you, you're out of order. Did you hear me, Froggett? You are. <laughs>